Hey guys, it's Kim Jong Lee here, and I'm back with another online, online commentary battle for on Total War. Um, this I'm going to be starting this series, um, basically Piper's Adventures through uh, the Cup of Barbarians, which was a recent tournament um, hosted. Um, I'm not sure by who, but it's in the Cup of Nations format, but it's only with the Barbarian factions. So um, it was quite a uh, fast tournament, I think. A lot of the games were the best of one. Uh, the group stages uh, was points-based, which is what we're going to go through now, I think. And then we're going to move on, uh, pretending we are Piper, through the uh, upper ranks and ultimately to the final. Uh, I, and I won't spoil that for you in case you guys <clears throat> don't know the result yet, but you guys probably do. So anyway, we have Piper here, <clears throat> playing as the Numidians. Um, there is a money table for this tournament, so um, both sides have 15k in this matchup, so it is just a CWB. <clears throat> um, and we have Piper here with a bunch of archers, one slinger, uh, two slingers at the front, sorry. Um, these archers look to be gold gold, so do the slingers. He's got some long shield cav over here. Looks like they have a lot of upgrades. Definitely got chevrons on those. Two Numidian camel riders. Um, probably got chevrons and stuff as well, and more long shield cav. We have Nerman as his opponent, playing as Spain, also with 15k, as I've said before. Round shield cav um, over here, long shield cav in the center. Um, and another unit of round shield cavs. So both players going for very cavalry heavy builds for what their factions can field. Um, <clears throat> both sides fielding the best cav they could, they can for their respective factions. Uh, Nerman's got some of these bull warriors at the front. No upgrades, they are very expensive. One peasant and the rest are slingers and he's got two Balearic slingers at the back here. So we'll get the battle started. Um, again, thanks to Piper for sending all his replays. Unfortunately, his hard drive um, is experiencing experiencing some difficulties, so he wasn't he isn't able to put these up himself. And he asked me to, um, which was quite generous of him. And yeah, that's why I'm doing this. <sighs> anyway, um, with the builds, um, we've got these desert infantry here for Piper. But uh, obviously they won't do much against the Bull Warriors, despite the upgrades. The Bull Warriors are just much too well statted uh, compared to these uh, Desert Infantry. Um, but these Desert Infantry can be uh, of some effect against these Light Cav units. So they could be helpful, but I reckon Piper really doesn't want an engagement with these bull warriors, um, at least while the bull warriors are still at full strength. Definitely does not want that engagement. Nerman, meanwhile, has to be careful of these camel riders. Um, with just uh, camels, obviously, have the bonus against regular cavalry, um, so he really doesn't want to get into a big cab engagement and just get wrecked by these camel riders. Um, so he's got to be quite careful of those. Um, in terms of the missile fight, I feel like both sides uh, have their advantages. Um, the sling is obviously not as good as the archers one on one, but uh, Nerman does have these Balearic slingers, so we'll see what he can do with those. He's also got this peasant unit, which can be quite useful um, in the skirmish. So we've got some of these round shield cav here, uh, and here Nerman. Trying to waiting for an opportunity um, for him to to use them, probably on these archers here. Um, if not on the archers, then definitely an opportunity uh, where he can get in the back um, of maybe a big cav engagement that could ensue. But not doing too much at the moment, and uh, he has leaked uh, two two men there, uh, definitely from the missile fire. <clears throat> So we've got the Archer duel going on, Nerman choosing to put his guys into loose formation, Piper keeping his guys in tight formation, um, but this does make them more vulnerable to missiles, so um, you might want to be a bit careful with these Desert Infantry, they're quite vulnerable. Um, Piper going in for a 
uh, sneaky shot there, but Nerman's micro is up to scratch, and he's going to be able to hit that. And Piper, one of his long shields getting caught there. Um, uh, Piper should lose that unit. Um, uh, and it might come back, but um, it won't be very strong when it comes back with only six guys. Got some long shield cav here. Um, uh, toying around with these round shield cav. Uh, Piper's got to be careful there as well, and this has got to hurt a little bit for Piper. It's got to sting. Um, Nerman still has a lot of cav around. He's got this round shield here, not doing much, but has a lot of potential. Round shield over here, only lost a couple, like two units still. Uh, only lost two units, uh, still very healthy. And of course his long shield cav. This unit is down to 10, but he has routed this unit, and he might want to chase that unit down with one of his round shields if it comes back, but it looks like it will um, pass the red line and it's not going to be a factor anymore. Um, so Piper, going to run around with this cav a bit more, this round shield cavalry um, really being a threat. Uh, to Piper's skirmishers here, slingers and archers. Um, the archer duel, meanwhile, or the missile fight, uh, is hmm, not going Piper's way, I'd say. Um, or at least it's very even. So, no really clear winner um, in the missile duel at the moment, but Nerman's got the advantage in cavalry. And that's very important for this matchup. Both sides sporting very heavy cav builds for their respective factions. So any advantage um, through the cavalry should be pretty huge. <laughs> um, some random lag spikes there, here and there. Sorry about that, guys. One of Nerman's units getting taken out by this long shield cav unit. But uh, Nerman's also kind of taken this engagement here and gotten punished for it. Um, that unit does still have quite a few men though, so Piper might be inclined to chase that down. Uh, Nerman getting back at him though, uh, routing this long shield cav unit there and taking out this archery, uh, depleted arch unit. Um, but uh, some of his slingers have routed as well. Um, still got two, sporting two units here, uh, f being able to fend off uh, on this side, but I reckon Nerman has to make use of some of these Bull Warriors at some point. Um, Bull Warriors very useless in the end game, in my opinion, um, especially um, in this in this kind of fight where cavalry and archers are so dominant. The unupgraded Bull Warriors not so great in the end game. So uh, Nerman probably wants to leverage um, his advantage with those. Um, while he can. Uh, Nerman is going to do that, pushing with the bull warriors and taking out some of these uh, missile units with his cav. Um, he has got another group of cav back here. Um, he's going to try and keep them in the fight, try and keep them close to maybe this conflict zone. Meanwhile, Piper has these camel riders here, so he can do quite a bit of work, but he's very wary of these bull warriors. Nerman using them to great effect, just deterring Piper from taking an engagement with his cav on this side, um, uh, while being very mobile on the other side, so uh, being very annoying with these light cav units. So, with Piper here, just not Piper, sorry, Nerman pushing up here with his bull warriors very slowly um, while trying to micro his cav here and uh, yeah. We have a long shield cav unit coming in here, the bull warriors might, they do have peeler so it looks like Nerman is going to turn it on and Piper's cav is going to take quite a hit. Uh, these long shield cav going down to 14, um, not good for Piper. Uh, ideally, he did want. Uh, ideally, Nerman did want these pillar to go into the cav, so that is good for Nerman, uh, no doubt. And long shield cav picking off another archer unit over here. Um, so not looking great for Piper. 
Uh, looks like Nerman was a bit late, didn't put his guys into tight formation, and I'm not sure if he's seen this because he, he doesn't look like he's reacting um, to Piper's attack, so maybe a bit of a miss micro there. But Piper's going to push really hard on these bull warriors uh, with all his infantry and even these camels, uh, which might not work out for him. A massive hit in here, coming in here from Nerman. Going to hit these uh, desert infantry, but uh, some of these bull warriors and some of the cav routing for Nerman not doing their job, and this unit not running, uh, walking instead, so that is late to the party. Piper still has a chance here, but uh, these um, desert infantry not exactly great, so um, if I was Nerman, definitely want to focus on the cav. Uh, and not the infantry, although getting rid of the infantry is nice. And uh, probably run this Balearic Slinger away, it's not going to fare very well against the infantry. <laughs> Nerman still with the uh, fairly decent cav advantage, although not overwhelming. Uh, Piper very much still in the fight. Um, Nerman going with a charge onto these desert infantry, but not going to work out for him. Some units coming back for Nerman. We have this long shield cav here, and one of these slingers as well, but that's going to get chased down. Uh, so these desert infantry actually doing better than I expected in the melee, um, and maybe they did win the game for Piper. I wasn't expecting much from them, but they did their job, and none of them have routed, so all four units are still on the map, which is surprising to me. Uh, Nerman going to catch Piper's um, camel unit, his last camel unit, but um, the camels are going to hold out long enough for the counter charge to come in, and Nerman's going to lose two of his precious cav units. Um, so Nerman's chances... Uh, not looking so good now. These four desert infantry uh, putting up enough of a threat to kind of deter these cav from just carelessly charging in. <laughs> so Nerman's got to be hoping for probably this unit to come back at least before he tries for another offensive. And indeed it has come back, so Nerman probably wants to start getting that back. He's going to move it. Uh, Nerman by no means out of the game. Uh, he still has the advantage in Cav, which is uh, most of the time the most important one. Most important area um, of CWB. <laughs> but uh, these Desert Infantry do pose quite uh, a threat to him. And these slingers um, are probably just barely a match for these archers here. <laughs> Looks like the slinger broke under exhaustion and <clears throat> the presence of too many enemy units. Looks like Nerman's going to try and split up his cav, try and target maybe these cav units in the rear uh, that Piper's fielding. Um, but uh, again, these desert infantry quite annoying for Nerman. <laughs> so Nerman's going to try and hit these archers here that look a bit vulnerable. Uh, Piper is trying to rush in with some support with the desert infantry, but uh, this might leave some of them a bit isolated and give Nerman the opportunity to pick one or two of them off, um, but uh, Nerman's cav is dwindling, so his cav not as strong as it was before, and indeed uh, one of them is exhausted, the general is very tired, and even the freshest one is tired, so not looking good for Nerman at the moment based on fatigue and numbers. So, see what he could do. Piper going to pick off Nerman's isolated missile units. Uh, Nerman's going to try and hold out with this Balearic Slinger, but that's going to route very quickly. Um, 
there's probably like a thread of hope for Nerman, but not with this fatigue, I think, on his guys. Exhausted, exhausted, very tidy. He can't win it with his units in this state. Definitely, definitely needs to rest up. Piper's units are much more rested than his, even if they're like tired, at least they're not exhausted. Some fire arrows coming in, and this unit breaking, uh, which is good for Piper. Uh, Noma's gonna try and chase this unit down anyway. Turning out to be a very close game. Um, Piper with just three units left. Nerman with two very depleted but still capable um, cav units. If I'm Pipe, if I'm Nerman, um, okay, I think Nerman's trying to get his general to inspire this unit to come back. But if I'm Nerman, I definitely want to rest my guys now. Don't want to exhaust them any more than they already are. Both units are exhausted. This unit's probably not coming back. And I guess Nerman's just trying to go for it at this point, but I really think he should wait and just rest up. <laughs> so... Um, okay, he's going for a charge now on this general. Um, his unit are still like exhausted and very tired, so I can't see this <clears throat> coming out too well unless he kills the general. Okay, so Piper won that. Um, very close battle. Definitely, I think it came down to that infantry engagement where Piper's desert infantry held out against the bull warriors um, long enough for his uh, cav to kind of finish the job. And Nerman, I think, didn't see that in time. I think there were, you know, maybe 10 seconds lost and Piper really just uh, honed in on that. And... Um, yeah, it took the win from there. So well played to both players. This is just the group stage, so um, both of these guys, very good players. Um, expect them both to pass the group stage, guys. Uh, so this is just the first game. Uh, many more yet to come.